Bridgerton hair and makeup artist Linda J. Pierce shares a behind-the-scenes video detailing what went into the making of the show's ballroom scenes. The season's diamond, even more precious and rarer stone than previously thought, for it now appears... Watch the making of a Bridgerton ball with a cool behind-the-scenes video. Uh, basically, a very fancy private party. We're at the first ball of the season, hosted by Lady Danbury. That's me. We've got... The Regency-era romantic series only just debuted last month, but has quickly become Netflix's biggest television show ever. 82 million households watched the epic love story between Daphne Bridgerton, Phoebe Dynever, and Simon Bassett, read Jean Page, unfold and were left wanting more. <sighs> Netflix has confirmed that there will be a Bridgerton season 2. One of the trademarks of Bridgerton were the elaborate balls that typically became the starting point of many of the major events that occurred and throughout season 1. This is what they have been raised and trained for since birth. Daphne first met Simon at a ball and charmed him when he realized she didn't know that he was the Duke of Hastings. Oh. Pardon me. Forgive me. Daphne and Simon later had a scandalous makeout session in the gardens near a ball they were attending. That led to a duel and a hasty marriage to avoid scandal. Will there be nearly as many dramatic balls in season 2, which will focus on Daphne's elder brother Anthony? A cool behind-the-scenes video from season 1 offers a peek of what production was like shooting the ball scenes. The ball that we're filming this evening is the ball that takes place at Vauxhall Pleasure Gardens and it's really, really fantastic that it's in the first episode because we have a contrast. The most fantastic thing about this ball is the contrast to the Danbury ball, which is the first ball. There's some snippets of Simon and Daphne's first dance, some interesting historical context, and a fun cameo from Ajoa Ando in full Lady Danbury grandeur. It's fantastic, because it's fantastic, look! What's not to love? When we're driving into like there's this little crescent bright red moon as well, so it's... It clearly took a village or two to create the decadent world of Bridgerton. From the elaborate costumes to the hair and makeup to the ball scenes and more, every detail of the first season was beautiful to look at visually and fun to watch. <laughs> Bridgerton season 2 filming is slated to begin this spring. What has been confirmed is that the season will follow book two in the Bridgerton book series by Julia Quinn, titled The Viscount Who Loved Me, which does focus on Anthony Bridgerton's journey to find love and marriage. Given the romantic nature of the series and the fact that Anthony's story takes place only a year after Daphne's according to the book timeline, it's practically a given that Bridgerton season two will have a few ball scenes. In season, so they didn't clash. So in the late 18th century, for example, I know that the Duchess of Gordon held her ball on a Thursday, but the Duchess of Rutland always held hers on a Wednesday. The first season had a grand total of 11 ball scenes. Matrimony is still very much the name of the game in Regency-era England, particularly for a highly eligible bachelor with a title like Anthony. The question is will Anthony be able to avoid the all-seeing eye of Lady Whistledown and find his way to a scandal, free happily ever after? Fans will just have to wait and see and read The Viscount Who Loved Me in the interim. The great thing about the Bridgerton balls was the fact that they moved the story forward in important ways and were never extraneous to the plot. It may be a long wait for season two, but if the phenomenal first season is anything to go by, it'll definitely be worth the wait. Before they came together in London, they'd exchange letters to check who had which day and kind of bargain amongst each other because you didn't want to clash. You need to let me go. I know I've been unfair. Let me go.